Hello, Carbonauts. I'm Orbiter, your Welsh engineer, and welcome. Because we are going to build a space station. And, well, well, I was going to return the Kerbals that are on lathe and complete the lathe or bust series or episodes. However, uh, I haven't quite finished it yet, and I won't have enough time. So what I decided to do was do something like I normally do and haven't done in quite a while. I was just build a space station that goes into orbit around Kerbin. First off, let's get some cinematic shots of the rocket flying by. This is the core of the space station. And what's unique about this one is that the space station is being built completely out of silver shiny parts. Now, I haven't done a space station after I've installed this texture pack and ultimate textures. I thought it was altered and limited. Unlimited textures or ultimate textures? I think it's the ultimate textures. Okay, so you install ultimate textures and then you install ultimate stock textures, which gives you the silver shiny thing. I'm not sure how to use the ultimate textures mod itself, because apparently you can do a lot of things with it for your parts. And you just saw the core there, which looks awesome in all its silveriness. I thought I'd give it a sort of a retro look as well. You can see a well, when we get back to it, as you can see, I've put the mono propellant tanks around all the docking ports, giving that sort of like square chunky look. Something that would be sort of like 1960s or 1950s sort of era look. And with all the silver skin, I think it looks awesome. It sort of like fits the part as well. So first off, let's get into this orbit. And when I do space stations, I always suggest, well I don't actually always suggest, but I suggest that you put it in high orbit, like 300 kilometers. That's for two reasons. One, it gives you an awesome view of curbing below, because you can see it's a globe, not flat yet, correct? <laughs> awesome. But also, it means that you can launch craft into orbit about 100 kilometers. It makes it a lot easier to launch craft into orbit and then get your rendezvous and docking. The rendezvous is the tricky part, the docking is the one that you have to get used to yourself. Okay, the next part, the oversized rocket head, rocket module thing. Well, this is basically the habitat module for the Kerbals, because I thought power should be sent up next, but no, you need a living space for the Kerbals. You can have limited supplies of um, power and radiation support, although I do have radiators on this module, so Heat shouldn't be a problem for the Kerbals. Shouldn't be a problem with the Kerbals anyway, because I haven't got any life support mods installed. But anyway, we launch this up, we get this into roughly 100 kilometer orbit. There's something goes wrong with this, which we'll show you soon. But first off, let's get this into orbit. And also, when you're launching, uh, when you're circularizing your orbit and you've got your target station, Try to change your inclination so your inclination is about the same as the station. It saves a lot of fuel in the future. If you can do two maneuvers in one maneuver, you do save fuel. That's an actual fact. Anyway, you can see the module I've got here. I've again put the monopropellant uh, modules around the docking ports to give it that sort of like retro style. And also, I think the habitat modules like that gives it sort of like a retro feel as well. Let me know what you think. Also, if you want to build a module and you want me to add it, use the large docking ports. Perhaps you could send the craft file to me. I've got a Discord server, which means that you can attach your craft to the Discord server. I don't know if you can actually share craft, which is on a PlayStation to computer. Oh yeah, this is the part. I'm missing the footage here. Basically, I ran out of fuel. I miscalculated how much fuel I need, or probably, which is most likely, I was very inefficient in launching into orbit. Anyway, so basically I had to use my monopropellant, and luckily I'm using monopropellant tanks to, as a sort of like a, um, a style fixture, I suppose you could call it, some sort of styling. And because of that, we luckily can get to the station. We've got enough moral propellants to get a proper rendezvous and still have enough for docking properly. Now, when you're coming in for docking, try to line the docking ports up first. Use the SAS and point at target. Make sure your docking port that you want is targeted and that you've got a togging, your control from docking port on the spacecraft controlling. 
and then once you're in front of it, then line the prograde marker up with the target and come in slowly. I suggest, because of some bugs which make docking boards bounce, come in under 0.5 meters per second. And once you're attached and the magnetics take over, switch off the SAS and RCS. That way your craft should magnetically uh, align itself up with the craft and hey presto, we've docked. Awesome. Okay, this is a good start to the space station. I'm liking it so far, but first off, we do need some power. So let's send up my staple uh, giant solar panel things on trusses and then let's get this space station prepared for the missions ahead. I actually have no idea what this to do, but building a space station is a lot of fun. And I found out that the more I play it, the easier it gets. Like docking, I didn't have to think too much about it. I knew exactly what to do, make sure that everything was lined up and then hey presto, easily done. Although, still going to duel and doing gravity slingshots, that I think I still need to improve upon. I still had a video planned that I was going to do a proper sling, gravity slingshot or gravity assist video, explain a bit better, making it a lot easier for you guys or some people who want to to do it. And oh yeah, I have to rename the space station, it's called 2 at the moment, because the last module I docked to it was called 2. So think of a good name, let me know. So when you're rendezvousing, like we are here, create a maneuver node right in front of you, increase the apolapsis so it comes into the same height as the orbit, get the close approach markers, fiddle around, move the maneuver node around, and then once you get close enough, then start fiddling with the retrograde, prograde, normal, anti-normal, radial, radial out, in and out, whatever it is, and then just mess around until you get a closer approach. Do a quick save before that so you don't run over your maneuver node and miss the target. Just play around with it, that's the best thing you can do. And then you'll learn how things work a lot quicker. Anyway, here we are, bringing the last module, at least of this episode. And that we're gonna dock this, give our Kerbal some power, and then I can ask you perhaps what suggestions we can do for this space station. Now, probably the next episode is going to be the Kerbals returning from Lathe, but hey, we can still plan this one, and perhaps I can do some quick modules or something. So let me know. Okay, coming in for our final approach. When I was approaching this, I realized that I was heading direct center for the space station. Luckily, I burst per burst of speed sideways so we wouldn't hit the station. So that's all, that's a good tip for all you uh, newbies out there who are playing this game. Also, I suggest to you guys mess around with uh, building the spacecraft and everything because it's not the easiest thing to work out when you first start off. I remember when I was trying to build my first large launchers, they just wobbled out of control and uh, felt self-destructed basically. Or the best term that most people call it is rapid self-disassembly, which is a Kerbal term by the way. So yeah, just get messing around. Also, if there's something particularly you want me to show you off, like landing on the moon, something simple, nothing sort of like huge bases to go to the moon and everywhere across the galaxy sort of thing. Just uh, simple things like how to land on a moon. Because I feel that some people, you've got some new players on the game and they just don't know how to do a couple of things. I even considered doing career mode, but still, I don't know why I want to do career mode. To let you know why I don't want to do career mode is because when I started this game there was no career mode, it was just all sandbox. So you just did what the hell you wanted to do and just have fun doing that. And I'm still doing that. Anyway, unfurl the solar arrays and the heat shield thingy which it is. Uh, radiators, that's them. And hey presto, switch on the lights. Awesome. What do you think of my space station so far? We'll probably add some more solar panels on that. I think I overkilled on the solar panels to tell you the truth. But hey, it's KSP. You can't overkill anything. So, what do you want me to add to the space station? Or do you want me to do something like I was planning on landing on the man? Or perhaps build a Minmus base array or something? Or Minmus hotel? Because no one else has done that yet, have they? <laughs> 
I'm not copying anybody. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I am Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer of space stations.